You're listening to the What the Wrestling Podcast, the show that brings you all things wrestling with your host, RJD. Oh, you already know what time it is. Perfect. What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome, everybody. You know where you at. But first of all, check out my socials for they have not changed. Check them out anyway. Follow me, RJD, RJ699 on Twitter, RJD199 on Snapchat. But most importantly, follow What The Wrestling on Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok. Follow What The Wrestling on Spotify and Anchor. Getting back on Apple Music soon, uh, SoundCloud soon, Spotify, you already know. Let's go! Yes, yes, yes. Tis I, RJB here. Welcome to What's the Wrestling, everybody. How are you doing? I am somebody. Now, I am your host. RJD, as always, hopefully everybody is having themselves a good time, (coughs) excuse me, a good time on Super Bowl Sunday, New York City, hopefully everybody's having a good day, we got the Super Bowl and T-minus two hours and 30 minutes, 33 minutes to be exact, and who you got, huh, who you got, let me know. Who do you got today? Do you have the Chiefs? Do you have the Eagles? You want to know who I got? I like the Eagles, but I ain't going to lie. It's hard for me to get to bet against Mahomes because he's Patrick Mahomes, Andy Reid, Travis Kelsey. I'm picking Eagles. I know, I know, I know. I shouldn't like the Eagles, but they've been the best team all year, man. Hard for me to pick against the team that's been the best all year. But if Kansas City wins, it would not surprise me. So we'll see what happens. But enough about football. Let's talk about wrestling. Smackdown Review. Coming to you live today from New York City. I hope all is well once again. Let's talk about one thing that led to another that led to another. Let's talk about the bloodline. Perfect. So we had the bloodline on this show all over this show. We had Paul Heyman out there. Well, let's just go from there. We have Paul Heyman out there. Paul Heyman was out there. He was talking his talk, talking his ish as always. Popping shit and... Unfortunately, we had a surprise. Surprise, motherfucker. Someone actually came out there and showed up, and it was none other than Sami Zayn. He went out there and cut a promo talking his junk, saying that the bloodline is a wrap. Paul Heyman is by himself. He done, He need not be scared. I ain't going to hurt you. I ain't going to hurt you, bro. Nope. But make no mistake, Jimmy's here by himself. Jay is about to be out the bloodline solo is doing his own thing and roman's time is coming to an end and i am going to beat him and take his titles and said he's got eight days and then it is a wrap so this is good he pulled paul Heyman real close after he tried to like shake his head and he said i want you to go tell him go tell him his days are numbered he's got eight days And then I'm coming for him. You heard me? So shout out to Mr. Shout out to that brother. That was awesome. Later, we had Jimmy calling Jay on the phone all day, trying to figure out where his brother was. His brother would not answer. Nope. But he said he'll be here, Oos. He'll be here, Oos. And Adam Pierce said, listen, if your brother ain't here, then you got to go at it alone. I think it was him or Paul Heyman that said that. But, which is confusing because a couple of weeks ago, Jimmy was about to go at it, uh, Jay was about to go at it alone 
Well, Jimmy got hurt, and they said they were going to have to forfeit. You stupid. So, a bit of a logic gap, but we're going to forgive them for that. We had, we had Jimmy once again going out there and having a undisputed WWE Tag Team Championship match with Braun Strowman and Ricochet, who ended up winning that tournament. So, they got a title shot. Braun Strowman and Ricochet have been killing it, as always. But we had Jay Uso come out to the Uso's uh, music. And everybody's wondering, is Jay going to show up? Is Jay going to show up? Is he going to show up or not? We don't know. Things is uh, Things are looking crazy. But at the end of the day, it's a bird, it's a plane. No, it's Jay Uso in the crowd. Surprise, motherfucker. Jimmy looks up and Jay is at the top with the belts. Crowd goes crazy. Jay comes down and they say, listen, Jay, give your brother a hug. Jimmy and Jay hug. Everybody's cheering for Jay. And then they proceeded to have a kick-ass match. The end came. Uh, the end came where it was a beautiful segment. So they hit their finish, Ricochet. Ricochet hits his finish on Braun Strowman's shoulders, but Jim, uh, Jay pulls Ricochet out the ring. Braun Strowman goes for the choo choo choo, goes for the choo choo thing. He runs around, but he choo choos himself right over the goddamn announce table, and he's gone. He's stupid. Right after that, Ricochet does a suicide dive, flips onto Jimmy, throws him in the ring. He's about to hit the senton. I think the, <clears throat> I think it was the 6.30 cent. No, was it the senton? It was either the senton or it was the uh, shooting star or something that he did off the top rope. And Jay tagged himself in on the low. And as soon as he hit the senton and rolled over, Jay hit him with the frog splash and got the one, two, three. This was a fantastic TV match that I liked very, very much. It was great. Shout out to Ricochet. Shout out to Braun Strowman. Glad they got a chance to sh show up and show out. Bloodline storyline is absolutely amazing. Let's keep it going. So, backstage, Usos caught up Jimmy and Jay. He said, he, Jay said, um, he always has Jimmy's back. Jimmy asked if he was in or out of the bloodline. Jay said, I don't know. And he walked away. So he basically was still like, fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm. And then Paul Heyman is looking like this around the corner. Like that Kevin Hart meme where he's like, Paul Heyman then goes up to Jimmy and says, did Jay have anything to say? And he says, nope, he had nothing to say. Stop the cow. He's lying. So after that, Roman Reigns gets, uh, uh, Paul Heyman gets on the phone with Roman Reigns and begins to snitch all over him. Then a little later in the show backstage, we had Jay Uso leaving the building and he runs into Sammy Zayn. <laughs> Sammy says, listen, man, I am sorry about everything that happened. I don't want to put you in a tough spot, but I got to let you know, I acknowledge you. All right. The bloodline is fumbling, it's falling. You could do better. You could be this, you could be that, but I acknowledge you, and you know what? I don't want to see you do anything crazy, but I just want to let you know, it's all you, Jay, and I'm sorry about everything, but the line is coming to an end. Went to go give him a fist bump. He said, listen, get that out of my face, but at the end, he gave him a fist bump, crowd cheered in the building, and we don't know what's going to happen on SmackDown next week, but... I believe the tri I believe the tribal chief wants everybody to stay home. It'll probably be just uh, Roman Solo and Paul Heyman next week. And I am loving this bloodline storyline, best thing in wrestling, hands down. Hands down, the best thing in wrestling, and it ain't even close. So shout out to everybody involved in this storyline. It's awesome. Keep your eye on it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Keep your eye on it. It's great. Awesome. Can't complain. Now, 
What happened on the rest of the show? We're going to quickly run through it. Not going to make this one too long today. Drew McIntyre and Sheamus beat Hit Row in a certified squash. Uh, Hit Row. Uh, Viking Raiders had a post-match vignette. So that's probably going to be the next match. But Hit Row, man. My have the fighty, my have the mighty have fallen. Nope. Not looking good for them. Not at all. Lacey Evans defeated Carmen Harris via submission with the Cobra Clutch. They did this woman no favors with the start and stop and start and stop and start and stop and start and stop and start and stop. They did her no favors. None at all. Natalia comes out there and says that she is going to win the championship at Elimination Chamber. Shayna Baszler comes out after she was talking about her. Ronda Rousey comes out after Shayna Baszler. They both come in and beat the hell out of Natalia. Shotzi came back to try to help her and to check in on Natalia. And that happened on this show. Okay. Cool. Not bad. L. A. Knight. Yeah. He refused to talk about the uh, Bray Wyatt or the pitch black match. Instead, saying he's moving on after the Royal Rumble. Perfect. Thank you, L.A. Knight. You deserve better. Yeah. Liv Morgan and Roquel Rodriguez beat Sonya Deville and Chelsea Green. Afterwards, Rodriguez power uh, power bombed Morgan onto Green. Adam Pierce, uh, Adam Pierce, made the match after being harassed and berated by Sonya Deville and Green backstage. So they signed up for it and they got it. <laughs> We had Santos Escobar, Karrion Cross, Rey Mysterio Jr., and Matt Cap Moss in a fatal four-way. And the winner is going to challenge Walter, a.k.a. Gunther, next week for the Intercontinental Championship. And guess who won? Not the person you think. Matt Cap Moss wins the fatal four-way. Bruh. You heard me right. Matt Cat Moss won the Fatal Four Wing. Bruh. So he wins the right to go get his head chopped off by Walter next week. <laughs> Good job, bro. <laughs> Not that I don't like Matt Cat Moss. I think Matt Cat Moss is actually great. He's jacked. He's a great in-ring competitor, and not like he can't wrestle. The brother's good. It's just that there's no story around this, and yes, it is something new. Uh, you get mad when they don't do anything new, and now it's finally somebody new. I hope he goes in with Walter and shuts it down. He has his real-life girlfriend with him. I think it's awesome. But as for Walter, Walter is a big, mean, badass dude. So I hope that they figure out a way to get Madcap Moss some offense in and make it look credible. And hopefully Walter beats him in sounding fashion. So that was your SmackDown, everybody. Shout out to SmackDown. Shout out to the Eagles and the Chiefs playing at 630. Shout out to Rihanna for playing at halftime. Probably going to bring out Chris Brown if she wants to make a statement. She'll bring out Chris Brown. She's probably going to have a lot of people, probably Jay-Z. Who, who knows who shows up? But we'll see. Other than that, I'm out of here. Everybody be safe. I am out. Who you got? Let me know in the comments. I'm off this Super Bowl Sunday, baby. We here. Everybody enjoy the day. Be safe. I'm out. Peace. Don't go.